I would say a very very good day to you wherever you are watching the Amazon TV from I promise you that this is going to be very interesting it's something that is very new for the Amazon TV actually um, bringing uh, sporting stars uh, to you, you just getting to know them personally not just about what they do on the pitch or field of play or on the court but behind the scenes that there are certain things you don't know about your favorite uh, sports star so today I have Kenneth Omero, he is my person that I'll be talking to. So stay put and don't go anywhere because I'll be back very shortly. But when people hear Kenneth Omero, um, a lot of thoughts could actually come into people's mind. But thank God that we are talking to you one of one today. Can you just let us know who Kenneth Omero is? My name is Kenneth Omero, Nigerian centre back and um, still the Lioness player. Kenneth Omero is um, an Abia State boy, I'm Igbo. Uh, there are a lot of people mistake me to be from Urobo or Benin area, but I'm Igbo from Abia State, from a family of, um, I have three sisters and three brothers, so we're seven. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I'm a football player. Alright, now let's talk about your football career. Let's start. How did it all start? How did it just come back? Um, okay, like every kid, growing up, football was what I wanted to do. Uh, always playing around with kids of my age, playing in school, you know, but it all kicked off when I went to trials for the under 17 um, national team, and that was where I was scouted after several months of um, of trials okay uh, now uh, i would say if, if one say uh, you are more or less that your, your family is more or less uh, football oriented can i be right yes because i know you have a younger brother yes i have uh, i have two younger brothers one plays for um, pi um, City Pirates in Belgium and uh, my younger one is still um, hasn't gone out yet but he, he will be traveling to join my team, the second team of City Leganes very soon. Uh, my older brother used to play, played Sunshine Stars, played um, Quara United as well uh, but now he's no longer playing. And uh, my dad used to be a village goalkeeper, <laughs> you know, yeah, so I could say that. Okay. Yes. All right, so I would say that it runs in the system, it runs in the blood. You have sisters. Yes. Is any of your sisters a football player? No, n none of them uh, plays football. You know, it's now that football is starting to be encouraged in females, you know, back then it was just, even as a guy playing football also wasn't even something your parents want you to do, but now all that has, um, has changed, so none of my sisters plays football, just, just the guys. Any of them are called in sports, maybe other sports? No, none. Uh, my elder sister... <laughs> When she was in secondary school, tried to be a goalkeeper like my dad, but she broke her hands <laughs> and never went back. Okay. okay, so just tell me a little about your wife, how you met your wife. Okay, I, my wife's name is um, Chelma, I'm Jennifer Omero now, it used to be Namani, which is a popular Enugu name, yes. you know. So I met her during the under 20 camp on the 20 <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that was years ago back in 2011 that was when i first saw her um, in a training session in in enugu and then from there i fought for her number wasn't easy wow. i sent <laughs> i sent someone after her she took forever but at the end i got the number and and we kept talking a lot of promises, wait for me. You know, at the end of the day, she she waited, and here we are. Tell me about your daughter. Okay, my daughter Charin, uh, my first daughter, wonderful. She's 
she's everything. She's daddy's girl, you know. She's always clingy to me. Um, sometimes when I want to go out, now that she can speak, it's even more um, dramatic because she asks me, Daddy, you're going out again? I'm like, <laughs> you know, and she's in school. Um, and her Igbo name is Chizaram. Then we have Chiamanda, the second one, Brielle, um, who is one year and, and a few months, six months. Um, that one, she doesn't, once she put her cartoon, She's okay. give her her food, she doesn't care about you. She, okay. she, she want, if you want to carry her, she wants to run away, she wants to be on her own, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay um, my academy is still is still growing. It's still in the um, building process, but we were able to get four players out um, in Spain. Two of them currently have a club they are playing, and two right now are without clubs. But hopefully next uh, season they will they will be in clubs. And um, I'm working on rebranding the academy because I want it to be not just for the ages of 16, 17, 18, I want to get the kids involved, you know, I want to try to help them learn football from primary school, from secondary school. So the next step in our um, agenda is trying to work with schools, you know, private schools, uh, government schools, to put in the academy in the schools so they will have sections for for football and also have sections for for learning and we have few appointments to you know try to get this um, dream realized because we'll also get the parents involved because football is not just you know going to kick around is uh, it's it's life is a lifestyle you know so I could see when I go to my club, for example, the parents bring the kids to, to the training ground. The parents have their own tea time, you know, discussing. They come to the kids' games, they watch them play, they support them, you know. So this is what we lack as um, Africans. You know, your child just ah, Daddy, I'm going to play football, he runs away. But we want to make the, the parents on their spare time, maybe dad is working, mom is not working, you know, one of them have to be there for the kid during the training sessions and, and all. So this is what I'm trying to bring into, into our schools. All right, another question I'll ask you um, from when I was trying to research a little about you, get to find out some things and put about you. I found out that uh, you are a shareholder of a particular, uh, I think, a full division club in Portugal. Okay. Can, can you tell us a little bit about no, that? That has been um, dissolved. Okay, so you you know, yeah, I've, uh, I've, uh, I'm working on. If not for the fact that my club get, got relegated and stuff like that, I actually want to own a club in, you know, in Spain because it's the future. You know, if you have to to help and also make money from it, you have to do it because this is the only thing I see myself, you know, investing fully on because I know what potential we have in Africa. Yes. Talking about um, helping, you know, I, I can talk about the less privileged uh, people who are somehow challenged in life. I understand that you pay school fees for, I think, about, I mean, over 80 students, you know, in um, the school of the blind. Uh, I think it's located in Abuja or somewhere, you know. What prompted you to do that? Um, for me, I always want to help, you know, and uh, I have a friend who introduced me. She just invited me randomly because it's what she does. And when I saw it and being who she is and who I am, I felt we could actually reach out and help more people. Because you see the blind kids um, singing, having amazing voice. You see them playing football together, 
So it was something that touched me and I felt, you know, I have to get involved. And that was how it started, you know. And most of the kids graduate to go to secondary school, you know, and yeah, it's just what I think I I have to I have to to do more and try to get other other people involved in it as well. Alright. Um a little bit. I want to. I want you to tell us a little bit about your parents, your mom and your dad. Okay. Um, my dad is um, 67 years old. My mom is uh, 62. Uh, well, I think uh, they are, they've brought us up the best way they can. Uh, supported us. Supported me as well as as well during my career and. Um, well, they've been living for, for years together in peace and that is something that, you know, I'm proud of. Alright, um, what is your best food? My best food is um, <laughs> Gary and Okazi soup. Wow. <laughs> Gary and Okazi soup, okay. Yes. What kind of music do you like? Afrobeats and gospel. Do you have a particular artist you know? Uh, I love a lot of the Nigerian artists, especially the upcoming ones. I love um, Wizkid, Davido, and yeah. So after football, for instance, what else would you want to enjoy into? Um, into, I think management. Not not as a not as a coach, but I, I would like to manage my academy, my club, you know. I think it will more be representing players and and clubs. Okay, uh, I don't know what your social life <laughs> is like. I've tried a little to find out more. <laughs> Why don't you, can you tell us a little bit about your social life? Social life. <clears throat> I used to go out clubbing a lot before, but that has changed. Because <laughs> <laughs> exactly, I have more responsibilities. Um, I like FIFA, I play a game a lot, Call of Duty. I watch a lot of series, I love movies. Okay. And I like going out to restaurants oh. to eat. Okay, and there's something I found out about you that you love Yeah. <laughs> so tell me your favorite. Um, my favorite right now is um, Range Rover SVR, but I would like to have Lamborghini Euros. Wow. Yes, I love high cars. Okay, and I know as you love buy, you love cars, so you also need cars because I know that the time you give your mom. Ah, uh, that's not gifting, you know. It's okay. still in the family, so it's it's just appreciation for a lot of things that you know. So it should be normal thing. There are a lot of people out there that support you, people that love what uh, Kedeto Merua is doing, what you have done, what you still do. What is your word to such people out there? Um, I want to thank them. Um, I see their posts. Whenever I'm not playing or injured and all that, and you know, just to watch out, uh, they've not seen the best of me yet. Well, I believe you enjoyed every bit of it. Kenneth Omerua, a lot of things that you don't know about him that you got to find out about Kenneth Omerua. He's doing so well. He has done so well for the national team, the Super Eagles of Nigeria. He's doing well for the Leganers, uh, although they are already relegated, but he has not uh, actually uh, given up in his playing career and he still has so much to do in football. So stay tuned and get to find out who the next uh, sporting star I will be bringing on this uh, channel for you, for you to get to know, keep on getting to know your stars more than you know them right now. Thank you so much. I am Jennifer Okoye. Do enjoy the rest of your day.